All right, support and resistance. This is the most important aspect of every single chart you look at. We're going to look at the example we show in the game planning handbook in this one, and we're going to talk about why. Okay, support. Support is an area on a chart where buyers are holding the price from trending lower. As we can see, this area down here, the buyers are preventing the price from going lower and they're pushing up every time, every time. Resistance is just the opposite. Resistance is an area on the chart where sellers are holding the price from trending higher. And we can see that in this area. And you see it push through, push through, and then failed. Um, you really want to see it push through and create higher lows on the way up. Um, this little push through and fail, that's a nice trap by the sellers, but we'll, we'll get into all that later. The basics. Resistance level is an area of sellers support level is an area of buyers okay now healthy stocks we'll look at Baba to start healthy stocks the way they move is they stair step higher and we're gonna look at Baba from here on out because that's when it really really made a great example of this okay so we can see support let me make these a little thicker support right here at this hundred dollar level and then resistance at this 104 105 area boom it finally breaks up now this is healthy watch what it does it tries to it tries to break out it comes back it holds the previous resistance as support very important this is a healthy chart it holds this previous resistance. Now that's support. Now it looks to stair step higher. And what's this next one? This 108 area is the next resistance. Boom. Breaks out. And what's it do? Begins to stair step again. And then you see it uses this one this previous resistance as support. And it just keeps doing that all the way up pretty much and that's the way a healthy stock moves it's stair steps higher we're gonna look at the way an unhealthy stock moves I mean we have no problem trading these to the long side but you have to be careful to know what you're trading um, I actually did catch this move back in the day but this G pro okay you can see I mean it broke resistance here uh, made a nice little tiny little bull flag here but you can really see this this thing it's just it's just pretty much going parabolic and when something goes parabolic it's not healthy it can't really s sustain this move so then it moves higher and then once it decides it wants to sell it you can see the it's each candle is very wide and and sloppy and loose it didn't stair step higher it didn't build support all the way up so now it just it quickly quickly drops and, and then you can see where we're at with this guy. Oh, 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 tough time. Tough time for GoPro. Okay, nextly, let's go to the regular market. Now, Time frames. This right here is a daily chart. Each candle represents one day in the market. Support and resistance found on a, let's say, weekly chart. Okay. Is more important than support and resistance found on a daily chart. The larger the time frame, the more participants means the more important the support or resistance level is. Now, the SPY daily chart resistance and support 
is more relevant and more important than an hourly chart. Each candle represents one hour of the trading day. Every, every hourly is much stronger than, let's say, 15 minute. Each one of these is a 15 minute candle. So you, you can see what I'm... You can see what I'm getting at here. And, you know, let's look at this chart. I mean, support and resistance all the way up. It's stair step higher. I mean, the, the market's been pretty healthy, actually, through this whole move. Look at this. Boom. Huge, huge resistance. Try It breaks out, gets all choppy, breaks down, ends up, it's a little fake out move, holds resistance, previous resistance as support. And then this begins the huge rally and so on and so forth. So the larger the time frame, the more participants. Now, also, stocks, they have memory, and this is how support and resistance gets created. This is a perfect example. You want to, when you're looking for support and resistance, you want to look left. They always say, look left, what's in your way. That's how you're going to determine where you're buying stocks and where you're selling them, where, where to expect buyers, where to expect sellers. We see that this 210, 208 area, see what I'm talking about right here? It's a very important, very important resistance level. So we break out of it, move higher, chop down, come right back into that area, and then boom, the buyers show their face because resistance turns support. Price had memory here. This 210, the buyers wanted to hold it above that price to show that they were strong. Stocks have memory. There are no accidents in, in price. This is how levels form. Um, let's see. Let's also talk about oh, trend lines. Trend lines. Let's pick a chart. Any chart. Oh, Tesla is a nice one. We'll do Tesla. Okay. Support and resistance doesn't have to just come in the form of horizontal lines, but they can also be diagonal trend lines. And this is what I'm talking about. Tesla. Look at this. This diagonal trend line. We saw it, boom, sellers showed their face here. Now they came, now they were consistent here, showing down. Now this is not a, a horizontal resistance level by any means. But then look at that, it tries to pop and then here we are again. And now it consolidates and the, once the buyers take control, they break the downtrend line, it's off to the races. The, a new trend is formed. They broke this downtrend and now they created an uptrend. Um, let's talk about uh, bullish and bearish flips. Now a flip is when stocks, uh, where's the one I'm looking for? When stocks flip support to resistance. Oh, here it is. Um, this is a perfect one and this was earnings. We were looking at this, we didn't catch it, we saw it after the fact, we're like, oh man, we should have caught that one. Grubhub had, came out with great earnings. And they opened up right here, right on top of this resistance trend line. You see sellers showed their face here, sellers showed their face here, sellers showed their face here. They beat earnings, so they gapped up. And then buyers, right into this, right into this huge resistance level where you know sellers are packed. Buyers showed their strength by flipping that into a support level. And the rest is history. The stock moved higher from there. So those are the basics of support and resistance. What you really want to look out for is support turning into, I mean resistance flipping into support and back testing. This is called a back test. When it when a stock breaks out and it retests the level, that's a back test. This back test of the level and the buyers won. So those are the basics from support and resistance.